Yeah, I bet this guy loves Halloween with every bone in his body. Here's your spooky spot on the Super 7 Mr. Bones Orange and Black Colorway. This Halloween colorway of Mr. Bones looks good enough to eat, but don't give in to your urge or you'll end up with some truly frightening gastrointestinal trauma. This 3.7 inch scale articulated Mr. Bones reaction figure features a unique black and orange colorway packaged in a coffin shaped box and comes with a tombstone accessory. Scare up some nostalgic spooky fun with this Halloween colorway of Mr. Bones reaction figure. As I'm sure you can already see, we're being joined again by the Paranormal Gateway Candle, which to this point has yielded no results in finding or communicating, for that matter, with Charlie the Ghost. I have spoken to other spirits in the meet. What? What was that? I thought I heard something. It must be just the wind. I have communicated with other spirits. Charlie the Ghost, nothing yet. I hope this is going to get better as we progress with these reviews during the month of Spottober. But in the meantime, though, let's get a closer look at Mr. Bones. Taking first the tape measure and measuring right to the very top of his head. Now, I actually ordered this last year from Super 7 site. This year, though, it has sold out. If you guys are interested to get one for yourself, you may have to check around to places like eBay. The figure, though, is only going to stand at three and a half inches in height. Or Mr. Bones is going to be about nine centimeters tall. So yeah, like I was saying, there's nothing on the coupon at all. It gives an expiry date. I came in wanting a free sub and I'm going to be walking out with a free sub. Anyways, looking at the accessories, we'll talk later. Looking at the, looking at the accessories that come include with Mr. Bones. First, the figure came packaged inside of a cardboard coffin. Now, obviously, one other thing that was inside here as well is just the plastic tray. I've already taken the liberty of removing that. If I was to be displaying Mr. Bones, it's likely going to be with the casket partially open like this. You can see that there's a silhouette of him. I guess that would be more of an outline. Would it be an outline? A silhouette, I guess, would be all black. This would this clearly gives details, so that would just be an outline. I like that the inside of this is, first of all, green, and that the outside is, is orange. On the back, you can see it does say Mr. Bones, and the top corner does say Candy Geek. On this side, it does say Mr. Bones. So at least there's product placement, and it tells you who exactly the coffin belongs to, right? I know, I should have got that free sub. Anyways, we'll put the cardboard prison right over there, cardboard coffin right over there. The one other included accessory with Mr. Bones is that he gets himself a tombstone. He's so real. Yeah, he is. I do like that, first of all, that they've molded this in green and that they've made the tombstone black. It does then allow for the font being orange like this to really pop. It has a little bit of a chip there on the side. Uh, I don't know what caused necessarily the chip for one of your friends. No? Charlie? Is that, by the way, you, Charlie? Okay, there's no answer. There's a little chip there off to the side. Uh, this can just, of course, be displayed along with Mr. Bones. As for the figure itself, now this is a reaction figure, so he sort of has, I feel, misleading parts to him where you would look at him and think, no, i got to be able to move this thing too. Well, you can't move this thing too. It's only going to result in the thing breaking, and then you're going to be upset. And you're going to be, yeah and then you just be running up the stairs. Probably not with your dimensional candle. Now, for the figure's details, though, like I said, this is the black and white colorway. There was other color versions of Mr. Bones as well. This one certainly is fitting for Halloween. Uh, he is, if you are familiar with skeletons, we are all, of course, we all basically have skeleton bodies, and we're just basically wrapped in skin. I'm not giving you guys any information that you probably didn't already know. So the figure does have quite a large skeletal head, and it basically is made of these little li limbs, little thin, skinny limbs, little skinny legs as well. The notable thing, though, about Mr. Bones is the fact the figure does have this cool little heart. It's glowing in green. In fact, it's actually a very similar color to the inside of his coffin. It's not removable, so don't try to take it off, whatever you do. Uh, there's some nice panel lining, as you can see there, for his eyes, his nose, and his mouth. Some additional panel lining there as well. He's sort of got like a half-and-half half treatment. Like a, Maybe this is what Two-Face would have looked like when somebody burns off his skin. Black on one side, orange on the other. Then they essentially then take the colors and they flip them around. So you've got some nice orange details there within the rib cage. Black details on the other side. Here's, here's where you may look at this figure and you think, okay, if I was to say... You and me are having this conversation. I'm telling you, this guy only has five points of articulation. You would be looking at me and you'd be calling me a fibber face. Can you believe that? A fibber face. You'd be calling me a fibber face and you say, well, no way. 
He must have articulation in his elbows, right? Because there's a bone right there that looks in, like it sits in the socket. That's all suggested sockets, my friend. There's nothing actually on this figure that actually moves. Sure, yes, his head rotates back and forth. In fact, it rotates all the way around. Sure, his shoulders do rotate. And his legs do move forward and back, which basically all checks off the boxes of what you normally get with reaction figures. If you were to look at this and think, well, no, he must have a bend in his elbow as well. The only thing that you're going to be doing is doing this, snapping this, and then being all upset about it. Even though it's sort of, again, misleading the way they've done the bones here, there is nothing really on the joints that you can actually bend here, nor is there anything really in the knees. So the thing about the reaction figures is that they're only five-point articulated figures. All you're getting is the head, all you're getting is the shoulders, and all you're really getting is the legs, and that's it. But for what he is, though, he's a pretty cool-looking, detailed figure. It's not likely one I'm going to be having out on display all year round, but like, though, probably what I may end up doing is just having this guy in a seated position, maybe sitting on my mantle, for example, in my living room, or hey, why not? You can also put this guy back into the cos get it co uh, coffin. I was going to say the casket. I guess it would still be a casket. The only thing about this guy is I kind of wish that he could have glowed in the dark. Now, I've checked already. It doesn't look like his heart does glow at all, so it's only, again, just the idea. It's just a suggestion. It's sort of the suggested idea that I should be able to go in and walk with a free sub out can't do that apparently there was an expiry it doesn't list anywhere right I was, I was telling you nothing listed on the coupon at all that could say i could get a free sub or i wouldn't be able to get a free sub anyways though for the figure what it is uh for this being like a 25 dollar figure one of the things of course with super seven even with the reaction line is that the pr the prices on these are a little bit higher for really what you're getting with them being of course you gotta keep in mind too like these are colorway figures so you, you get essentially like an artist released figure that comes in different colors and different you know again different like releases limited releases for example i'm glad that i actually have him i'm glad for like for the fact that the figure has now since sold out Having this guy sitting on my shelf, at least out for like October, I might maybe even have this guy next to a jack-o'-lantern, for example. I think it's fun for what he is. I don't know if everybody's going to be necessarily into like those designer series kind of vinyl figures, which this guy really kind of falls within that territory of. But for what he is, he's a pretty cool release. I certainly, though, I wouldn't say, unless you're one that really gets into collecting like the colorways and the, the vinyl figures like this, if you are, you're probably, you don't mind spending the cost of getting like, you know, the different color variations of him. Being that this guy came out, I believe like last year, he was $25 at the time. And even $25, I think wasn't a bad price for him. If you're now looking at places like eBay, he's going to be a little bit more. I don't know if I would necessarily spend any more though than $25 putting away my dimensional candle and looking online to see what other Mr. Bones were available on eBay. Most Mr. Bones, like the other reaction figures, only are usually on the cardboard blister cards. They're not actually packaged along with cardboard coffins like this. This one, being an exception to that rule, was, I think, only available on Super 7 site for the $25. Mr. Bones, though, on average, isn't going for too high of a price. A regular release of him, for example, could go anywhere from $26 to $40, depending on what color variation you get of him. Mr. Bones, on average, being the regular release, match the colors of the bone candy, which is why he's called Mr. Bones, after all. The colors are a little bit more pastel, but again, I even like looking online, there's more neon-colored variations of him. I don't know how far down the rabbit hole I really want to be when it comes to collecting Mr. Bones. I like Bones candy. I don't know if I like Bones candy enough to be shelling out $40 for a version of Mr. Bones reaction or otherwise. Still misleading when you're looking at the Bones and you're thinking, no, 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 no. There's got to be a way to bend the elbow. There's got to be a way to bend the knees. You're wrong on both counts. The only moving that he's going to be able to move, short of a dimensional candle moving for him, in the head, in the shoulders, and in the legs. That's reaction territory. Let me know down below in the comment section if you guys have collected any of the Mr. Bones Super 7 reaction figures and which color scheme you have in your collection. Again, if you guys uh, did like this video, do it a solid. Throw it a like. You guys want to stick around for more so? Woo! I hope so. Of course, we're running through the gambit when it comes to different spooky-related things during the month of Spottober. We're not just stopping here. No. No. Mr. Bones, we packed away... Not with the Dimensional Candle, though. Dimensional Candle I have to keep out all year round, well, at least for the rest of this month, as I still continue to reach out to Charlie the Ghost. Charlie the Ghost, wherever you may be, I'll find you. Rest assured, I'll find... And I'll, I got my free sub, by the way. I rose a bit of a stink at the store, and then eventually the guy just said, oh, whatever, man. I mean, it, it, your, your coupon clearly has age behind it. It's been folded up. It's got creases all over it. Clearly, you've been keeping it in your pocket for probably like the last year or so. But I'll honor it. Not because I think the coupon is correct. I'm only honoring it because you're making a big stink about it. 
I got my sub. That's all that matters. But yeah, we're definitely going to have a lot more things coming your way during the month of Spottober. So as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.